Hello students and welcome to my channel MK Tutorial and today in this class we are going to learn about MOET that is multiple ovulation embryo transfer. So before starting with this if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please press the bell icon and subscribe to my channel. So students what exactly is MOET or multiple ovulation embryo transfer? What does this mean? So we are going to talk about each term and explain it in detail. Let's start. So before starting, let us have a quick uh, basic idea about the male and female. Say for example, there is a male and there is a female. So the reproductive part of male is going to be the sperm and for female it is going to be the eggs. Yes, so male is going to give the sperm and female she is going to give the eggs and then the sperm uh, fusion of the sperm and the egg will take place to form the zygote. That is the normal thing we know. Yes. But now since semen part we have completed in the artificial some insemination we will not talk about it. Let us talk about the female. Now in a normal cycle the female gives only one egg. Yes. In a normal cycle the female gives only one egg. So if there is if there is only one egg coming from the female, there will be only one sperm which can get unite and form the zygote. So here the progeny is going to be limited. Yes, the offspring, the baby is going to be limited. Now what our technique is going to be here, we are going to increase our zygote or we are going to increase the progeny. Now how it is possible to increase the progeny? Yes, it is possible. What we are going to do? We are going to increase the production of the egg. Yes. So, since in a normal cycle only one egg is produced, so we are going to induce that female so that she might produce more than one egg and she might produce around six to eight eggs. Now, what exactly is going to happen with this female wherein she can produce more than one egg? Let us see. Say for example, in a normal ovary, this is an ovary of a female and in the inside the ovary there will be a egg production taking place. So egg is not directly formed, yes it is a step by step process. So egg is produced with the help of some small small particles and this particles are called as follicles yes so these are small small follicles then these follicles undergo a lot of mitosis undergo a lot of cell division and there will be and different um, follicle forming and oocyte forming and secondary oocyte forming and this things goes on and then there will be a formation of an egg yes so this is how the egg is produced and why with the help of the follicle first thing why? With the help of the follicle, first thing. And then the egg is produced. So when the there is a maturation of the egg is happening, yes, when the egg is going to now live the ovary. So when there is maturation of the egg is happening, that particular process is called as ovulation. So ovulation is basically the maturing of the eggs. Yes, so now we have to talk about how we are going to increase our progeny, how we are in going to increase our zygote. So we got to know the idea behind it is the follicle. So what we are going to give, we are going to administer that particular female with some hormonal injections and those injections will help her to produce more than one egg. Say for example, if if this particular female is given an hormonal injection of FSH that is a follicle stimulating hormone yes now you got to know follicle so this is a follicle stimulating hormone and this injection helps to induce production of more eggs so rather than one egg there will be a production of around six to eight eggs taking place in that particular female. So now we got the increased count of the eggs. So if the count is increased, then there will be more mating, more fusion happening. More the fusion, 
more the zygote, more the zygote, more the progeny. What we did so far? We had a female, yes, this was a normal female, not a superior one also. This is a normal female and the normal female is going to give only one egg per cycle. Now, this female was administered with an hormonal injection named as FSH, which is a follicle stimulating hormone. So, uh, normally used to happen in a female, in a normal cycle, there was a production of only one egg. But by giving an FSH, the female produced around 6 to 8 eggs. Yes, so it gives 6 to 8 eggs. And now this 6 to 8 eggs, now this female is carrying 6 to 8 eggs. After this, she is mated with an elite bull. Yes, after this she is mated with an allied bull in a natural process or an artificial by, by doing the artificial insemination process. So once the mating is done of the female with an male, now there will be a zygote production taking place. So there will be fusion of the sperm plus egg to form the zygote. Yes, now pay attention. Now, zygote being a single cell, so there will be a mitosis, a continuous cell division taking place inside this female. Now, what all the developmental stages are happening inside this female? Like, so the female which is having a zygote, now she is actually a genetic mother. Yes, she is a genetic mother mother because her genes are inward yes now this zygote will undergo a cell division a continuous cell division will happen it will be one cell broken to two then there will be four cell formation then there will be six cell formation and then there will be eight cell formation And then last there will be a 32 cell formation taking place. So this all things a uh, developmental stages of a zygote will take place. This 32 cell stage is called as blastocyst. Once the female reaches to blastocyst level, pay attention, once the female reaches to the blastocyst level, the blastocyst is removed from the genetic mother yes now this blastocyst is going to removed from the genetic mother non-surgically and this blastocyst is now introduced now this is removed and this is introduced into a genital tract or reproductive tract of an surrogate mother and further the embryo developmental stages will take place inside this surrogate mother and whatever are the progeny will be delivered by this surrogate mother yes so the deliveries of all the progenies happening will be from this surrogate mother then this genetic mother after the removal of the blastocysts she is free for a new round yes and in this way we can attain as many as progeny can be obtained by doing this method. So that's for multiple ovulation embryo transfer. Multiple because we are getting many progenies. Why? Because we are getting many eggs. Yes, ovulation is the maturation of the egg. Embryo transfer, here the blastocyst which is a growing embryo. That embryo is transferred to an surrogate mother then the delivery is going to take place by the surrogacy and it is going to help the cattle to have a good variety, quality, quantity of the yield. That's all about the multiple ovulation embryo transfer.
If there are any doubts or queries, please put down in the comment box. And if you like my video and teaching, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.